you closer than the all They are light, oh, but you're greater than the all We are walking in the light, it's walking in the light, yes, for a show. Oh, oh. So now here was after laughing at this guy and now <laughs> this is my life story mm -hmm. trying to you know, pray for a husband you know and I'm praying for this guy that doesn't even know I'm praying for him in the first place and um, yeah so I started praying and when I was praying for him God was assuring me that I'll give you a great husband that is Amen. what God told me in prayer but God told me but I need to change your personality so that you can have a happy relationship and I remember one day in the morning going on my knees and praying and God told me I want you to change your pride to something else you're proud and you need to get rid of that mm. before you get into marriage and I was like oh that is one thing that I didn't know about myself that I was a proud person you know and God now started revealing bits bit of things that I didn't know about myself and I was accepting I was like okay God if this is your will then I'm willing to learn how to be a humble person because you know um, now I started thinking okay where is this pride coming from you know and um, yeah the the feeling of I've made it you know I came to Germany I struggled my way through you know now I have a job I have my own house and yeah, you know I so know. who, who yeah. is that man that is coming to tell me otherwise in oh, my life yeah. you know you're successful and, and there are so many successful people People even over what you have and now you feel like you know I studied I did this wow. I have my certificates mm -hmm. and I'm doing and um, that kind of influences you know the kind of blick you're having the kind of you know how the angle you're looking at not a man and there are so many people that are rejected just based on the way you know uh, I, I would ask myself like what is your education background you know what do you have to offer on the table because you know you're getting a woman who studies uh, has has everything and so what are you bringing Bringing on the table so I wasn't humble enough to see a person you know people the way they are some I didn't even waste my time you know I would just look over and no 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 not my time <laughs> <laughs> okay not my time <laughs> marry your time <laughs> But then I realized I didn't I didn't even know what I wanted myself because every day I was praying I would write a list for God and he should be this way and that way mm. and the next day I'm like but God no 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 just forget what I told you in prayer you now this is what I all over again now this is the what one I want right now this yeah. is the things I want mm. and then at the end of it all you know, like I have so many lists here and they're mm. changing them so I don't even know what I want myself yeah. and then it made like click Mm -hmm. And I said, God, all this while I've been telling you what I want, what I want, give me this, I want this, God, I want such mm -hmm. a man. And I've never stopped to say, what kind of man would you like me to have in wow. my life? And that was a turning point. Now mm -hmm. I started praying for God, what, give me the kind of man that you think would be fit for my life. I stopped my list and talking every time in prayer, changing my prayer every day, you know, and I told God, now lead. You know no lead and God started leading at that point when I surrendered now he started leading he started teaching me I started buying books on how to be a good woman you know how to be submissive and all this stuff because I'm a tough-headed person also in nature you know God is not mm -hmm. teaching you different kind of things and I'm like so it yeah. was that one year of of praying it was really frustrating too because your personality is being changed mm -hmm. no and you know you have to fix into the plan of God wants to mold you to shape you to be a beautiful person for someone because I think if he had met me you know when I was just me with my whole package mm -hmm. I don't even think my marriage would, would last too yes. because of the mistakes that I'll be doing mm -hmm. but God took that time to teach me to help helped me out and I was open for it you know I'm someone who you tell me change this I'm like oh, okay I'll try you know mm -hmm. and then I go try I wasn't telling her like no I'm not a proud mm -hmm. person so mm -hmm. I won't do anything no I went and I started looking at what wow. is pride how could, can I change you know how mm -hmm. do I know that I'm getting proud you know because sometimes you you can get proud without knowing. without yeah. knowing yeah. you know there's yeah. so many things we get in ourselves without, without knowing, knowing. Yeah. and when God reveals it to you you're like oh okay mm -hmm. let me go back to the root and oh, uh, start studying God. about this yeah. yeah 
So the period of waiting, mm. frustrations pure because you you know you're getting to know yourself also. You're go getting to meet your new self that God is making. You know. Mm. And so many conflicts and you're waiting and the feelings also are there like yeah i i really mm. feel like having a family mm. meeting mm. someone and mm. all that but it's not happening quickly, quickly just yeah. the way i want it to mm. and so after one year i said god no i surrender i'm oh. not doing i'm not doing this anymore like how can i pray and fast pray and fasting pray and fasting pray and fasting yeah. and nothing happened <laughs> And you know, the beauty mm. of God is that mm. where your strengths end, that is where now God chips in. Mm. I had done my best. You know, I had prayed and nothing mm. happens. You know, yes, he would talk to me, it would change my character and all, but it was too much of a weight for me. You know, mm. I was like, I've never waited so long mm -hmm. in my life for this because mostly I look at something like I would like to achieve this and I go for it and I work hard mm -hmm. and you, you know, that uh, passes by, you go to the next goal. And that is how my life has been running from a pair, mm -hmm. you know, a pair finishes, I start student college, student college, I go to uni, uni, I finish my bachelor, I go to my master's, finish my master, mm -hmm. have a job and job. things are running, <laughs> you know, just, and uh, now yeah. here God is telling me, stop, mm -hmm. stop, stop. Now it's not you with your own hard work and power. Now you have yeah. to know that here i have control yeah, yeah. wow yeah so um the waiting period was not easy mm. as you said but um now who made the first move mm. did your husband make the first move or you did no one actually or? made the first mm -hmm. move because mm -hmm. our friendship developed we were still friends you know so uh we started uh was uh, let me go back to october he wrote me you know mm. we were writing once in a while but not that much and then we started actively writing in november in october right in october and so in october now when he wrote me we started writing each other whatsapp you know and then we started communicating more Mm. and more and more mm. and more <laughs> and then it became now every day you yeah. know it became now every day but now uh during this move of we are getting to talk to each other i was still dealing with my frustrations because mm. i was like now what i didn't share with you is when when i gave up now i'm not praying about this person anymore i started getting to know someone else you know ah, okay. that is part I, I forgot to share i started to know someone else mm. and this person was not di didn't have the same faith like like me was yeah. a christian yes but not you know the same foundation the same church and mm. everything and i started to spend time with him i was like okay who knows and maybe god wants you know maybe god yeah <laughs> I was like, who knows where God is leading me? But then I was having um, a friend in Hamburg, I think, her for that, Don, and he said, no, me, I'm not praying for this person. I'm praying for Raymond because Raymond is the person who had the same beliefs with you and I, I know some somehow that he's a good person and yeah. so I'm praying for him. And so when he was praying, I gave up at some point because I was like, now let's life just move. Whoever comes now comes, you know. Mm. But that is where now God chipped in and started writing in October. Now we started getting active. So instead of getting excited that now this is happening, you know, I started getting frustrated and bitter that why is it coming now? Yes. <laughs> I started getting dramatic yeah. again. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, I started. So that is how it, it started. Now we are writing. Yeah. And at, at the same time, I was chatting to them both. And now the one that I was trying to, you know, um, go you know walk my way with and him also he's talking my friend is telling me in Hamburg I will never pray for this other guy I'm praying for Raymond mm. and I'm also there in the in between I know I like him so much more than and this was what I was praying for waiting for and now it's here mm. you know now he's writing but me daily still, you know? uh? <laughs> but the frustrations in me and the mm -hmm. anger in me like why now God why now I like know. you just wait for me to one year of frustration and then mm -hmm. now it comes from nowhere you know and um, I, I was having this frustration and the frustration made me think that maybe you were not good enough for him that's why you know he didn't come on time so the devil started giving you a lot of ideas yeah, now. Yeah. and that thing affected also the relationship because i would just in a very beautiful moments we're spending i was just like yeah now now why did it happen this way and that way you know i started bringing negative stuff that were not even you know it's not even the reality you know 
Yeah. And the way that is what the frustration made me, you know, um, do at the end. So I was frustrated. I was uh, finding answers. God, why now and why? But then my friend was encouraging me, just enjoy the moments, just let it, you know, go from one stage to another. And so we were chatting and I think one day I was at work I talking to them both and the other one asked me like, what are you doing? And I told him the truth. I'm speaking to him, Raymond. Um, and he told me, do you like him? And I said, yes. <laughs> I said the truth, I liked him. Yeah. And um, how how much do you do? I said, mm -hmm. I, I was praying all this this while for him, you know, and now it's here. But he's kind of a quiet, reserved person, so I have to learn also his personality. And um, yeah, so I think he's just stopped writing bit by bit, you know, mm -hmm. and then the communication went more with Raymond. And then we started meeting now. We started going to church together. We go to church on Saturdays together. And then we started spending our lazy Sundays together so yeah. like what are you doing <laughs> on a lazy Sunday we just come here and watch um, we watch something or now we would listen to music most you just listen to music and chill around and um, people realize we're getting closer closer to each other you know mm. and um, and then one day um, one day we were in church and then my friends were so you know like there's something going on with this too you know tell us just tell us are you guys together and I was like no we are not together because we were not together officially we yeah. maybe we were doing you know, we were spending a lot of time like we are together we were doing a lot of things together that people were like we see you guys just just admit it you know but <laughs> I was like, so long as it's not official, I would not admit it. And then there's this one Sunday that we're sitting here listening to music and, um, you know, our lazy Sundays. And I noticed, he, I never talked about it, but I noticed he is trying to kiss. I try to get the kiss, but no one get, gets to get the first move. He's mm. a shy person and I'm shy, so we we'll just rub our noses like... <laughs> <laughs> and I just gave him a, a green light. I just yeah. gave him a kiss so that, and yeah. then he got the courage to kiss okay. back. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but then we were still friends. Mm -hmm. We were still friends. So we mm -hmm. were everything we were doing, we were just like we are friends, we are friends, we are friends. Yeah. And then people would be like, Now Marina, you you know. Mm -hmm. And then we decided we decided to make it official after after my birthday because we actually wanted to we wanted to um, tell some some of his close friends who are also our friends right now. Then the photos up there, mm -hmm. and we wanted to tell them the first, you know, because he said that he always the the guy uh, Kweku, our elder, not now, but he was our former church elder. Always told told him, no, occasionally when they meet, that I'm the right, you know, I'm the woman for wow. yeah. And that was one sign that I was asking God. I was telling yeah. God, let. Um, I want to go and tell oh, them I like you, but out. let someone else be the one to do this oh, on God. on my behalf, you know. Mm -hmm. And I also told God, you know, so I give God three signs. I was like, I want him to come to my church as a, a member so that I watch him serve you. I want someone else, you know, to... Um, to tell him, you know, that that's your, your wife or your woman, or that I think you guys are, you know, we, we are like kind of a thing. And um, yeah, the third one was, uh, the third one was, well, I, li I wanted a proposal in church on a Sabbath, you know. Mm -hmm. Those were the three signs that I told God. I told God, wow. I want to know if these ones come to pass, then I know it's you. Well, it's you. He, so God did that. God, God, you know, the first time, that's why the first time I was in church and I had like his membership is being transferred to my church. You don't know how I was happy on that day. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, please. my son, my Man, son is coming wow. to first, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I got, um, I got people know that there's something happening in the background because I shouted from behind. I said, he's not there. And even mentioned <laughs> the day that he's coming. <laughs> Make sure the it's day funny. that is coming, yeah. you know. And then I was like, oh, Marina, what did you do? You know, mm -hmm. so now everyone knows you. <laughs> the and the worst part yeah. is being like a church figure, you know, mm. everyone is watching your move, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, Every single move you make. And mm -hmm. that is what was making many people so, you know, that suspecting true, like there's, huh? sing, there's something going on here, uh -huh. but they're not telling us, you know. Yeah. Like they want, they want it to come to a limelight, but then mm. we were not still ready for that, you know. And, um, yeah, and then I, um, yeah, when that sign pass came to pass, I was like, this is God, this is it, wow. you know. Amen. And then he came to my church mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, and now I could, you know, watch him, for we could go to church together. I 
would watch from far and see yeah he's a nice person and you know would watch closely the character not the kind of person is but the character mm -hmm. and um yeah i was i was amazed you know what god was doing and uh, the second sign came to the second he's the one who told me that he's the one who told me that um the former church that was telling him that i was the late i didn't know about this you know wow. he's the one who told me who like that was one of my signs wow. mm -hmm. you know and um yeah then corona happened um yeah we decided to make it official after after my birthday mm -hmm. and then we we played a trick on guys and we told them like yeah we we, we want to make sure no one else knows about it except them when we make it official so we said we'll go we were together already but we said we go to church and we behave like friends like <laughs> so we sit next to each other we behave like friends we're just doing our service but you know you feel like hugging someone and mm -hmm. just getting near someone but you said no we have to make it official to our close friends first before it's official to the the whole church or mm -hmm. something so it was it was a moment of you know my birthday we celebrate Britain, and my friends were targeting that like they want to hear that we are together you yeah. know they know something is happening but they don't they want to hear it from us and then everyone is giving like um on my birthday talking about how they knew me and where they met me and all that <laughs> and i skipped i skipped the part of we were together so yeah. <laughs> And just told them how I, you know, how we came to know. Nee, he said how, you know, uh, he came to know me and all that. And I think they were disappointed. Like, we thought they were going to make it official. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Or something. Mm -hmm. And then we waited for the people to go. And we're so mm -hmm. like, oh, now I can give him a hug, you know, yeah. <laughs> and all that. And so, yeah. So God led us one step to the other. And mm -hmm. I think we made it official with them. And then is when we told our friends and in the church. I remember, you know, one of our church elders coming in and saying, I, I see you guys are in love and started to talk to us about marriage. You know, mm -hmm. our first, first days of dating. Because I think the church is just careful. They want to make sure when you're in a relationship that it's leading also somewhere. So it's not just yeah. like he and they are playing around yeah. with each other's feelings and... It's gone. Yeah, so that's my, my testimony of how I met him and um, yeah, how God get, gave us. The third sign didn't mm. come exactly. The corona came, the church was closed, but then I was telling God I still wish to have, you know, I would still wish to have my engagement mm. on a Sabbath. And um, yeah, he planned everything behind my back with my friend and uh, made made arrangements of everything. And it was so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. On a Sabbath. On a Sabbath. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And and the, the, the special thing about the Sabbath is that that was the first day he told me he loved me on a Sabbath oh, day. Cute. And so my engagement was on a Sabbath day. Yeah. And so I was, you know, Sabbath oh. was for me with, I was connecting it with so many beautiful, beautiful. moments wow. in my Amazing. life. And so I wanted also, Amazing. you know, Amazing. yeah, that because that one word, I could not say it for long. You know, I held it in myself. Even though maybe he knew it or the zoo, but I could not just get it out, you know. Wow. There's so many times I was like, why don't you just say and free yourself? Free yeah. yourself! Yeah. Out of this I love you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that yeah. thing never came out. Yeah, okay. never came out. But yeah, God is good. We are here now yeah. and married. And I thank God because it's, it's beautiful, you know. It's beautiful. Mm. You get to, you get to, yes, we, we're still in the first stages of marriage. So I can't actually... Walking in the light with the Lord on my side I don't fear no evil with the Lord on my side You're the fountain of life in you We see light in your light We have hope in your light My life shines Death cannot defeat us Depression cannot hold us Greater is the light No evil shall prevail Walk with my head up Fear is the thing of the past Cause we're walking, we're walking in the light